to but your heart is you guys want to be when you grow up? I said, Connor, I used to want to be an astronaut, but it's not very realistic because all the space stuff seems to be in America and not Dublin, so I figure I'll just be a professional footballer instead. <laughs> uh, mine is obvious. I definitely want to be a dancer. Mom says I can start tap this year, as well as street dance and ballet, so I figure I'll be able to do all the dances by the time I'm 16. And then I'll just, you know, be famous. What about you? Well, I always wanted to be a pirate like Captain Jack Sparrow. Or a drag queen like my Auntie Ben. Auntie Ben is my favourite auntie of all. Auntie Ben is like six foot five and has the biggest, best dress up box you've ever seen. And Ben doesn't just dress up after school either, but all day and all night too. Auntie Ben has this really glamorous job where you go to pubs and you do this thing called lip syncing, where you mouth the words to famous people's songs. That is so cool! Yeah. I know. <laughs> I go to Ben's house nearly every Saturday when my mom's at work. It's like a whole other world there. It's like a meteorite from a dream planet just fell out of the sky trading glitter dust and landed in Dublin. <laughs> there are Christmas decorations out all year round. <laughs> and these weird little glitter animals over the mantelpiece. It's like a museum full of not boring stuff. <laughs> there are random teapots and pictures and posters and books on all the shelves. Ben is really smart and was the president of the student union at college. <laughs> What's that? Well, it's basically like being the Barack Obama of partying. Oh, I'm going to be the Barack Obama of partying. Oh, me too, me too. Oh. When you're Ben's, everything is possible and nothing that you could think of couldn't be run through the sewing machine and then covered in gemstones in front of your very eyes. Anyway. It's a shame you can't come over. I'm sure Ben would have let him play with dressing up box too. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Get your stuff together. We've got to head off. Oh, 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 yeah, we really need help with the dance. I'm sure if you call their mums, they wouldn't mind. Okay, call their mums. Yeah, yeah, as long as I'm back for the Great Irish Bake Off, we'll be grand. <laughs> okay, let me talk to Ben and see if I organise a play date for later in the week. <laughs> cool. Now, come on, Skelly Wives, let's hit the road. Um, guys, you, you know when I said Great Irish Bake Off? I actually had match of the day. <laughs> we know, Anto. <laughs> well, thanks a million, love. Sorry, guys, I'm just changing out my heels. I'll be down to you now. Wow. Your Auntie Ben has a really deep voice. <laughs> Something weird going on here. Sorry for keeping you away from the darlings. Hi there, Hi, Tracy. Ben. How are you? I'm good. <gasps> Oh, isn't it amazing, Liberace, eat your heart. Oh, but this must be the famous Sammy and Anto. Nice to meet you, I've heard so much about you. Yeah, nice to meet you. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is what? Trizzy, you can't be serious. Serious about what? Your Auntie Ben is a bloke. It's really <laughs> weird, Trizzy. Yeah, it's so weird. Oh, why didn't you tell us? I told you like a million times, Anto. Uh, no, uh, no, no, you haven't. Yeah, I have. No, you no. told us that you had an auntie that dressed as supposed to be in a swimming and sang in clubs and stuff, but, but not that your auntie was a massive dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know not everyone has an auntie or an uncle that looks like Ben, but you must know someone who dresses the opposite, like a cousin <coughs> or a postman or a football player. A uh, football player? I'm joking. Suarez would never be caught dead in a dress. <laughs> And some loafers, like Sammy's dad. Oh, I get it. You want me to dress like a proper man? So no sequin lapels? No gold lame shirt? No, Ben. If I did that once, wouldn't you ask me to do it again? At the next time show or the next time you went into town? I won't be able to dress like Sammy's dad forever. You know that, don't you? I'm sure you could if you tried, maybe. I have tried. Many times. Sorry to disappoint you, Tracy. As much as I love you, my darling, I don't want to get into the habit of pretending to be somebody that I'm not. Maybe he doesn't know what people 
people are laughing at him, ma'am. And they're laughing at me too. Sammy told Sarah, who told all the girls, who told all the boys, who told all the boys in fifth class. And now everybody's going around calling me Tranny Tracy. I have to tell him to stop. Oh, I know it's horrible, Trace. But people have been laughing at your Auntie Ben his whole life. And me too. It was awful, but... Do you know what? After a while, we just got better at standing up for ourselves. Well, if they took the time to get to know Auntie Ben, they would see that he is just as normal as you and me. Well, he's not normal, is he? You told me that there were loads of people that dressed the opposite. But when I asked Sammy and Anto, they said they'd never seen a cousin or a postman or a Suarez that looked like Ben. And now that I think about it, neither have I. Why do you wear makeup if it gets you into so much trouble? Trouble? Yeah, what well, Mam was painting my face and said that she used to practice on you, but that you used to get bullied over it. Mm -hmm. Doing drag and wearing makeup makes me feel beautiful and powerful. I've always loved being creative with my appearance. And that's more important than any lies people say about me. Lies? Yeah. Like, if I said you had blonde hair, would you care? No, because I have brown hair. Exactly. I've always been lucky and proud to have a wardrobe twice as big as everybody else. <laughs> so when somebody says I look silly or stupid or ugly in one of my dresses, I don't care. Because I know I feel beautiful. How do you ignore them if they're like shouting at you? <coughs> Being proud, it's a skill. It takes constant practice. How do you practice being proud? Can you hear it? That just love. So You love your auntie then? Yeah, of course. Well, if you love him, then he's far more important than all the boys and girls in your class. And all the boys in his class. And I'll clatter anyone that looks at you sideways. Yeah, but adults aren't allowed to dress up. Especially not men. And especially not dressing up and then lying about being a lady. Don't congratulate them on their lack of imagination. Mm. Well, I'm not congratulating them. I'm just sick of being called Tranny Tracy. Yeah, yeah. Well, why do you dress the opposite, though? Well, why do you dress the way you do, Anthony? Because they support Barcelona, obviously. Well, I support dressing up. You tell us to stand up for ourselves, but half of us haven't grown up enough to stop bullying each other. Even though you went to school like a hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it would be simpler for people like my Auntie Ben to be like everybody else. It would be simpler if we were all the same, but it would also be boringer. And anyway, we're not. Right under a dress, so that makes sense. <laughs>